Welcome to the pilot's guide for the G5. In this aircraft spruce video, we'll get you spooled up on this electronic flight instrument manufactured by Garmin. The G5 has a sunlight readable 3.5 inch liquid crystal display, offering the pilot a modern layout of instruments that fits in a 3 and 8 inch hole. On the bottom left is the power button. Pressing this once will turn on the unit, and while on, pressing it once will bring up the backlight settings. The G5 can be set to auto, in which the built in photo cell can be used to automatically set the brightness level. On the bottom right is the control knob. Turning this while on the primary flight display, you can adjust your barometric pressure. By pressing this button once will bring you to the menu, allowing you to adjust your altitude bug, pitch offset, or select the HSI page. The same menu can be brought up on the HSI page, allowing you to set your heading bug or return to the PFD page. The G5 can be used in three different applications for an experimental aircraft. First is modernizing a traditional six-pack panel by simply replacing the attitude indicator with the G5. It is recommended though that a magnetic compass still be used. Second is a simple VFR panel layout using the G5 as a primary flight display. This can be paired with a portable GPS like the Aeros 660 for moving map and navigational capabilities. The G5 can also be paired with a multi-axis autopilot system, like the GMC-307 autopilot control head, driven by GSA-28 servos. Lastly, the G5 can be used as a backup instrument display for a Garmin G3X system, and with the G5's backup battery, can offer up to four hours of instrumentation in case of an electrical failure. For complete product information on the Garmin G5 electronic flight instrument, please visit our website at aircraftspruce.com or give us a call at 1-877-4-SPRUCE. Aircraft Spruce has been serving the aviation community for over 50 years and we look forward to serving you in all your aviation needs.